what three things does everything need to survive? Food. Food. That's one. Water. Water. What's number three? Shelter. Shelter. That's right. Typically, I try to do a program like this about once a year, uh, sometimes twice a year. And really what I'm trying to do is, uh, you know, teach people that it's, it's fun to get outside and be active no matter what time of year it is and even if it is five below. In the winter, you're going to want these to be as small as they possibly can for you to fit in so it will catch your body heat. Because the bigger it is, the more just kind of open air there is in there. And that's not going to reflect body heat very well. My grandma made me. She signed me up without asking me. It sounded boring at first, but now I'm doing it, it's fun. It's also teaching them a skill that I think people have kind of forgotten, you know, just going out and being able to survive in the wilderness. And, and uh, you know, we just want to come outside and build shelters and, and really more than actually showing them how to build a shelter, I, I'm trying to help them kind of teach themselves how to think in a different way, you know, how, how would I stay warm at night if I'm stuck in the woods and it's two degrees, uh, you know, and so I'm showing them cheap things like a $2 blue tarp that I carry in my backpack that can help you do that or piling up some, you know, twigs and limbs and, and you're just trying to have fun with it. We can lean other sticks over that. We're looking forward to it. Yeah. And, uh, always wanted to learn how to build a shelter out in the woods and what better day to do it than sub-zero. Three, 